I don't remember who told me that the reef around Guam is made of our bones, burial in every wave. Words As from a book of poetry written by Craig Santos Perez. You know, writing poetry was always a way for me to connect back to home. And, you know, I miss Guam so much, miss my family here. So a way of writing these family stories, you know, really kind of closed the distance between the homeland and California. And so, you know, but I never thought the writing of the poetry would actually bring, bring, be the thing that would bring me back home. Perez, born in Mong Mong, left Guam when he was 15 and moved with his family to California, where he went to college and is now in graduate school at Berkeley. His second book of poetry is entitled From Unincorporated Territory, Sina. The cover features the stark contrast between an ancient island tradition and the coming military buildup. I was so inspired by, you know, Tassi's rebuilding of the Sekman, the launching of the Sina, and to me that was a very empowering event. Um, and, you know, happening at the same time that, you know, the buildup is being proposed, something that will totally disempower our people. And to me, it's a very kind of tense time. The Guam Humanities Council is sponsoring a series of what they're calling conversations on the military buildup that will use Perez's poetry as a jumping off point for exploring the issues surrounding the buildup. Referring to the number of Marines, the series is entitled 8,000 How Will It Change Our Lives? Coordinator Monica Flores says it's an effort to approach the impact of the buildup from a different, deeper perspective. We want a safe venue where there's respectful disagreement and real meaningful conversation. Um, and so we're not trying to advocate one view over another. We would just like for um, just a more meaningful sort of examination and expression of ideas military buildup as well as the release of the DEIS, you know, I think really affected people in a deep and profound way. And I think ways that, you know, a lot of people are still trying to understand whether those are feelings of betrayal, anger, rage, uh, confusion. And poetry is a way that, you know, these feelings can be understood and articulated and expressed and shared. We can cross any body of water if we believe in our breath. Poetry by Craig Paris. Kevin Kerrigan, PNC News.